It was a beautiful Thursday night in New York City. I met her by mere chance at Whiskey Blue. I'm never there on a Monday, but maybe fate brought me there for a reason. My eyes gazed at her across the room. I watched as she went to the restroom and returned back for a second pass. So at that moment, I decided to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Brian Mitchell, I said. And what's your name, beautiful? She said, Irina. And from the first touch of her hand, I knew. We felt comfortable and extremely relaxed together. I asked her for her number and she gave it up. And we connected with a photo on my cell phone. And that too confirmed it. We decided to leave Whiskey Blue and take a stroll to Cornerstone, one of my favorite diving bars in New York. And on the way, I held her hand as if I had known her for years. The feeling was remarkably serene. We stopped because she wanted to take a smoke. Now, I don't even smoke, but on that night, I smoked with her. Still looking into her eyes, I asked about the bandage on her leg when well, she limped a bit as we walked. And she said it was from a mean girl in the club that hated on her swag. But then she said it didn't break her because I was the boss from Detroit. Man, I love the way she said, I was the boss from Detroit. She asked about me and I said I was a singer. She said, what genre? I said, jazz and R&B. So she asked me to sing something. So I picked my favorite song, All of Me by John Legend. Loves all of me, loves all of you, loves your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections Give your all to me I Give my all to you You're my end and my beginning Even when I lose, I'm winning And I give you all of me And you give me all Ah. After my serenade, we finally made it to the bar and had a few drinks. And then it happened. I leaned in, and her lips touched mine. I sipped my drink again and came right back to those lips. I closed out my tab and told the boss from Detroit that we should go. She said, where? I said, back to my place for another drink. She hesitated at first, then agreed. So we cab it back to my spot. Already hot from the previous kisses, I welcome more to follow. She entered my place and went straight to my fridge, found a bottle of rum and some limes and she mixed it up in two glasses for us both. Creative, I thought. Then she sat on my couch and by accident, I hit my glass and it broke. Glass was all over. I immediately cradled her legs off the floor, upright on my couch, and cleaned up the glass, then sat with her again and the feeling felt the same. I grabbed her hand and guided her into my bedroom. Our lips touched again as we both fell to my bed. Lips locked now, even tighter than ever. Then I did one stupid thing. I pulled her close to me and looked even deeper into her eyes and saw that the windows of her soul were so beautiful that I could gaze into them forever. This did not feel like my typical one night stands. Now, this felt much different. Now here I am, alone, once again, thinking about hurting myself, thinking about her and the night we both shared, realizing the reality that I would never, ever see her face again, would never hold her again, and I would never get a chance to tell her these words. I love you. Nothing more to say And there's nothing more Nothing more you can do When you find out that The one you love Does not feel love for you love you And you can cry you And you can cry all day But it won't They can be nothing If their heart is so empty And all your ways To die Why God will wipe Have you ever been in a relationship?
friendship that wasn't real. If they lied to you, just couldn't keep it real. And all your pain never seemed to heal. Real. But my God is always real. And one day he's gonna send you someone real. Don't you say?